Ladies and gentlemen, when we think about the cruel leaders of the past, we think about Adolf Hitler who killed over 6 million people. But there is another monster much greater than him who wanted to take over the Philippines but ended up conquering the whole of Congo. A man who wiped 50% of the population of Congo, which is an estimated of 15 million Africans. Men, women, children. He killed them all in ruthless, horrific ways, without any mercy. Genocide, wars, bombings, slavery, poverty. But yet, we do not know about him. King Leopold II of Belgium. Do we know about him? I think not. And that, my friends, is the sad truth of the world. What I'm about to say is very sensitive yet true. King Leopold II killed 15 million Africans. For some reason, our world has always seemed less interested in the pain of Africans. Leopold II knew that Congo was rich in rubber, gold and ivory, three of the most expensive resources at that time. That is when in 1885, he decided to own Congo and to convince the Belgian government to give him money. Leopold II disguised his slavery as a humanitarian project to convert the Congolese into civilized Christians. And it worked. A whole African country became a private property of just one man. But what he did as an owner for the next 23 years was far from Christian. He forced all natives to dig up gold, kill elephants for ivory and harvest rubber so he could sell them and keep all the profits for himself. And he was incredibly heartless. Leopold too recruited many Congolese people to torture their own people. He paid a large army of natives to enforce slavery. It didn't matter if you were a man, woman or a child. If you didn't work hard enough, your hands, arms or legs would be cut off. In 23 years, because of Leopold II's greed, 15 million people died in horrible ways until they finally broke their chains from Belgium in 1960. 60 years later, Belgium has not yet formally apologized for all the atrocities. It only expressed regret for the violence Congo suffered. Millions dead and no apology. For so many years, the African people have faced atrocities, hardships, tyrannies, oppressions. But nothing seems to be done about it. They have faced it and they still are facing it. Because my friends, racism is a mindset. It's something people believe in and they practice. And nothing can be done about it because we can only protest, take out rallies and condemn their actions. We can stop their actions but never their mindset. And that is what pains me to say that this issue has been going on and will go on. That is all I had to say about this. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, thank you. Stay safe. Goodbye.